there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, Woo! Uh, how are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, I can take this off? Yeah. What up, dude? How are you? <laughs> so Bill the Bourgeois is staying at the FCC. <laughs> <laughs> He's already had people bring in his bags for him. This is for oh my god, the typewriter. <laughs> nice. And Bill, they gave you a pink robe, your favorite color. <laughs> I would call that more like Sienna. And this story's for you, Julia. And I'm listening. I'm just dancing. This, like everybody knew. Yeah. Uh, most of the people who I imagine this or watching this English will be your first language. Right. Uh, so I would speak slowly and very simply. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, like are you did this. you dye your hair so it's the same color as mine? <laughs> <laughs> you got it. you're gonna meet him you got I'm going to college. <laughs> Okay. Um, now. That's amazing. That was Ginger, lemon, and honey is my cure. I miss you, Claire. An old picture of my mom and dad. We never lose anything, we never gain anything. So, you know, being here has been such a roller coaster. On one hand, I do know I'm supposed to be here. I know that I'm, I'm doing the right thing and I'm honoring my, myself. God, you know, this is why people don't fall in love. This is also why people don't leave relationships because it's so painful. Thank you so much, Iming, for the easel. I'm taking it home on a tuk-tuk. Oh, it's so nice. It'll probably clear up a little bit later because it usually just rains at certain times of day. My plan today is Bill's gonna come over and record a podcast. We're gonna go to Sakura Japanese thrift shop because I want to show him the thrift. I think I'm gonna edit for a while and then I have a Skype date with Claire tonight. My, one of my best friends in the whole world. Okay, another of my favorite places here in Siem Reap, Cambodia is the Sakura Recycle Japan Shop. You can't miss it, you can't miss it. Look how extensive and large it is. So all of these clothes here are a dollar, 
And then they have um, cheaper ceramics outside. Oh yeah, this is the good one. This is the mother load. The other one's smaller, Bell. Look at the guitars. Oh, this one's the one. Like I said, I'm gonna be here at least an hour, dude. So I like to take my time, look around. Just ceramics for miles and miles, it feels like. How cool is this store, Bell? Very cool. Look very, at all these cool. sake mugs here. I like to take my time and spend a lot of time here because there's so many curiosities. There's also a lot of artwork. Look at this. You can find chopstick rusts, all sorts of silverware, bento boxes, little statuary globes. annual competition here at Colors of Cambodia is commencing right now. So what we're doing is we're looking at the works of the teachers and students from the past year. And as you can see, the caliber of this work is absolutely incredible. So it's gonna be really tough to decide. So these are cash prizes and certificates, which are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Salone gets two oh, wow. cakes this year. Salone is Ooh. one of the teachers here at Colors of Cambodia. <gasps> That's gorgeous. Use those muscles. I, I, I did a Facebook post. Oh, I want that. Cute. No, no, you get the first piece. That's the birthday etiquette, yeah. Okay, so I'll cut some of this one, and then I'll cut some of the other. Excuse me, how's the cake? It's not so smooth. Cake is good? Yes. All right, cool. It's been a super pleasure for me to come back to Cambodia after so long. This has been a big... In September, it's that time of year where we have a competition. Perfect. And then uh, many of the great pieces, the award-winning pieces, will go into our calendar. Also, I'll uh, make a note that uh, the world-famous illustrious Julia Haw is back in Semri. Let's hear it for Julia Haw. You're going to be teaching some classes in here, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to commend Sophie on doing a phenomenal job keeping this project alive during COVID, which was, I think, a, a, a tough time Ooh. for me. Yeah. In first place in the 14 to 16 goes to the soon to be world famous Seha. Seha! Now, first prize first uh, for this all ages watercolor and drawing category goes to another one of the rock stars. No rock star. No rock! Woo, 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 woo. This is fantastic. Roman here, he's got so much imagination in his work. Such a pleasure to work with you. I think you're a very good teacher, too. Yeah, thank you. And I'm so glad and proud to have you as part of our project. Uh, large format, first prize goes to Salon. Woo! 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 Salon! I'm gonna say this is one of the best pieces of art that, that's ever been made in association with the colors of Cambodia. Cake, cake, cake. Okay. 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 Yeah. Hey guys, today I'm heading over to an absolute legend's house. His name is John McDermott and he has been a long time artist photographer here in Cambodia. He's known for taking really beautiful, highly detailed black and white photos, specifically of the temples. It's gonna be a treat to go see him. He's actually selling off everything in his house because he and his wife are moving back to the United States. He's got a couple lamps that I've got my eye on. And then other than that, I'm just gonna do some editing today. I am sitting on so much footage for you guys that it's getting kind of ridiculous. I've been here two weeks already. I can't believe this. Like 
fireworks on it. So guys, I decided that one thing I wanna do while I'm here in Siem Reap is really go outside my own created box. So I really wanna try things that are outside of my comfort zone, outside of my own boundaries. So with that being said, a mutual friend Jack in town put up this post last week and he was like, does anyone ride, wanna ride any quad bikes? My intuition, it was a little bit confusing cause it was like, yes, no. <laughs> And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna take that as a yes. And I'm gonna write Jack right now in this moment and tell him that I wanna ride a damn quad bike. In about half an hour, I'm meeting a group of people at Family Quad Bike and it rained this morning. So Jack is all happy and he's like, be prepared to get muddy. GoPro testing one, two, three, about to go quad biking, what the? I'm a little bit nervous. Look at those. Next one. Okay. 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 So that's where we would normally go. Yeah, is right no, over there. Yeah, we go across the, the and, park around the, the one village there. Oh my god, and look, the pigs are going over there. This one? They're so freaking cute. Yeah, and you see, they are just crossed to stay somewhere. They're really afraid of people, but when they are, <laughs> look at it, baby. God, <laughs> what a cutie baby! Wait for me. That's out of control. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Ooh, 10 out of 10, highly recommend family quad biking. 23 bucks, you, you get to come and see some groups and get all muddy. And yes, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Another phenomenally gorgeous day raining. Oh, praise be. Look, I'm wearing pants. Look what I have got going on, you guys. Many of you who may be new subscribers to this channel, I'm actually an oil painter. That's pretty much how I've made my the majority of my money over the past decade. My website is juliahaw.com, and that website's been up for like, I would say like eight, eight to ten years or something. I'm very, very serious about my art making. So this is gonna be the first painting in the series. Tamara's also given me a canvas. Sometimes I just wanna cry, you know, at the generosity of others. It's like I go to her studio and I'm like, can I give you money? Because the accessibility of materials is a little bit limited in Cambodia. And by little, I mean it's very difficult to get premium canvas, stretched canvas, certain oil paints, brushes, anything, literally. She gave me a canvas, not only that, she gave me raw canvas, and I'm just so thankful. This is gonna be my first painting. I have my little setup here, so I got this lamp in 2020, and Tamara gave me that, and my friend Aiming gave me the easel before he left the country. This is my setup. So of course I live by myself, so I have my setup right in the midst of my living room, but that's fine because I live alone. And I have the canvas facing toward the light. So what I'm gonna do today is just start in with browns and grays and get the back drawing in. Let's create an amazing painting. Oh, 
Okay, as most of the locals know, because I'm assuming most of you have been to Baby Elephant because it's awesome, it is actually down a little alleyway. So here is the sign, how cute. And this hotel has been running for seven years. Take a look at the oasis inside. So what you do when you get here is come on in, go up to the reception desk, check in, and then yoga will be on the rooftop. was supposed to go to Jack's birthday pool party and I'm still gonna go but look at the fucking weather mate it's rainy season baby so frankly this is an era in my life where I don't want to hide myself I don't want to dim my shine I don't know why anyone would dim what they really want to do in life but i'm telling you i probably did it for years and now it's like I, i'm gonna wear what i want i'm just in a stage where i want to embody my full trueness this is my cool outfit although it's still currently raining outside <laughs> so and i've been training you know i'm getting my abs back so what i coupled this outfit with is that um cotton long shirt that i got from sakura thrift i just think it's a cool vibe because i can tone up or tone down the outfit whatever the mood is and not that i'm trying to tone myself down but you guys know what i mean i do want to cover up when i'm out in the tuk tuk traveling so um this can be untied and kind of worn long, which I really love. I'm gonna order a tuk-tuk because I don't really want to be walking with this kind of sheer shirt through town. Dude. Hey guys, God bless the Reaper Babes Facebook page. If you're a badass lady living in CM Rape, just be sure to go on Facebook, look up Reaper Babes in CM Rape. It's just a collection of women here living in CM Rape who support and uplift one another. We post our favorite restaurants, opportunities, furniture that we might have for sale, dresses we might have for sale, cries for help, anything. So I just actually organized a my language learning group and I don't know the group is just really amazing I'm actually going to pick up a freaking chair that I have been looking for for a while like a nice painting chair that goes up and down and the woman's gonna be selling it to me for 40 bucks blessings upon blessings word of the wise if you're a woman living in CM Reef this is for women only badass babes only um, then look up Reaper babes on Facebook and join us Here is the Speak Like Khmer School. It's a Khmer language school, and I have decided that I'm finally going to take an attempt, take a stab at learning the local language. 
it's about high time. This is something that I've really wanted to do for years. And I organized a group of six women, including myself. So we'll each have a study partner if it comes to something like that. But this is the language school. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather emotionally and physically today. I actually took a nap and I really haven't had the strength to do anything today. So I'm gonna rally for the class. It's an hour long. But look at this building, isn't this really beautiful? So if you get a group together, lessons are $8 a lesson. And if you wanna do like a private one-on-one -on -one lesson, it's $10. So here's the school. We're going upstairs actually. We did it, all six of us turned up. I'm so excited. One from Scotland, one from South Africa, and four from the United Hello. States. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to YouTube! <laughs> oh, it's so cute! <laughs> when was the last time I sat in a freaking classroom? Oh my god. He's just a baby. You are a baby. Okay. Look at those back legs. Look at the angel. Chikai? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not even the type of person that cries that often, you know? You might find it hard to believe, but... I just have so much pain in my body. And, you know, I'm not always aware of it. Like, it just kind of sits there sometimes. I just looked up at the sky out there. And I'm in a whole different place. You know, not just physically. I really miss Butterball. I just miss, like, being able to pet my cat. You know, it's interesting because, like, I really do miss the act of taking care of someone and the act of taking care of a cat that's always been one of my greatest attributes and also one of my greatest faults because there's been a consistent pattern in my um, romantic relationships like for as long as I can remember like since my first boyfriend that I showed my love through taking care of them. And a lot of times I found people who needed me. My relationship right before Blair was really abusive. And you know, you'll you'll ask like any any woman who's been in an abusive relationship, well how did you get in something like that? You're you're a beautiful woman, you're smart. <laughs> because I ignored the warning signs. <laughs> because I wanted love so badly. Anyway, it's um, 11.34 on a Monday night, and it's been a tough day. Like, for a long time in my, my life, I just, I never felt like I was good enough. And I would repeat that story a lot, and it ri rippled through my life. It affected all my relationships. It affected maybe where I'm even at in my career, or like, so much for going to sleep early tonight. Why is it always like looking at the fan or the ceiling and, and it's just like this existential moment? You know what I mean? I know I'm here with a purpose and I'm not gonna forget that. I'm really trying to get a normal sleep schedule here. These emotions are really getting in the way. Another weird thing about Cambodia is you might get food poisoning, which I have right now. Very bad, very bad. And I've been throwing up and going to the bathroom and I have the sweats and I almost passed out and Pani's on her way because I was scared. And there's no sense in trying to pinpoint where you got the food poisoning because it could be from anywhere. As careful as you think you might be, you know, it could be one little thing. So I almost passed out and I'm not exaggerating. One month in and I've already had a really bad head cold and food poisoning. This is all part of acclimating. Is it? I'm so thankful for Pani. What would I do without a sister here? <laughs> Breathe. I was just telling Clara that, you know, I feel like I'm living between two aspects of myself. Like, 
I'm really trying to push myself outside my own comfort zones. You know, it's things that I would like anyway, but it's like going to a party alone or like riding quad bikes, taking language lessons. You know, for, for most intents and purposes, just doing these things alone is hard for anyone, really. You know, just trying to push my own boundaries and not be afraid and and try to be like extremely confident you know break through a lot of those barriers where you know like a good part of my life i felt insecure and then the other part of myself is um dealing with this um pain of the breakup and and like you know re-identifying with myself as a single person after five and a half six years see even my camera is dying it's so sick of seeing me cry it's strange when emotions hit you, you know? It's been a month since I've been here, and almost a month anyway. And here I am. This whole morning I thought that the monks were getting ready to celebrate Pachum Ben, but Pachum Ben isn't actually for like another 15 days or so. And I've recognized this music before. This is a funeral. This is a Cambodian funeral. I believe it's pretty traditional and um, I was actually bicycling past the funeral and there were these big, long, drapey, white things. So these long white flags actually represent crocodiles and the mythology was that a king's daughter was killed by a crocodile and then he hung the actual crocodile outside of her funeral. It was terrible. But these flags here represent crocodiles. I'm learning every day. This place is so fascinating. The reason why, and please correct me if this is wrong, but the reason why Cambodians play the music so loud for funerals and maybe other celebrations like weddings and things like that is because they want the neighbors near and far to come and also to celebrate the life of that person that has passed away. It feels like a beautiful reminder, like a, like a constant reminder throughout that day that someone in the community has passed away. Basically in the United States, the deceased body would go to a funeral home. So it would go to like a building or company designed to prepare and display the body. I mean, that's the way it is in the United States, and I wonder how the bodies are displayed here. I think the body is like kept in the house. There's so much to learn about other cultures, isn't there? And there are so many vast differences between cultures, a lot of similarities too as well. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching um, what has been going on in the past three and a half, four weeks. It hasn't been the easiest of rides. But I do know that, again, I'm here for a reason and I love this place so much. And all I want to do is honor and uphold the culture. I'm trying to learn language. So, suits die, sucks a bye. Nyak chumwa ai. Nyom chumwa julia. All right, I'm taking some Khmer lessons, man. I really want to learn the language. I'm really looking to build my channel here. So, if you enjoyed this, random vlog. Um, there are some other more cohesive ones on my channel, so I'll leave a couple links in the description box. Please feel free to go check those out. Working on a new painting, and yeah, I'm just gonna be vlogging about Cambodia for the next long while while I'm here, because I'm gonna be here for a decently long time this time around. So please feel free to like and subscribe. I would love to have you here. Anyway guys, have a blessed and beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I just wanted to close this video up by showing you the amazing sunset. Oh. All right, this is my official goodbye.